Irwin staying right in line. Kenny Irwin Jr., but Ernie Irvin comes up around the outside to make a door post to door post. And that's going to let Mike Wallace run second spot. Now then we see those trucks slamming off each other. Once again, slamming off each other as they come to the line. And it's Irwin. Man, they Irwin. never put me on each other. That was amazing. Kenny Irwin Jr. hangs on to third spot over Ernie Irvin. But there is the celebration. Wow. Big, this thing was a freaking rocket. <laughs> Mike Bliss wins it. Let's go to Jerry Punch. Sprague trying to, as you said, disturb the air so that Ernie can't follow. Meanwhile, here they go. This is the battle for six, seven, eight. A lot of positions going to be decided on the last lap. Ernie Irvin not able to make a run at him. Here is the gap, first to second. It's going to be a couple of truck lengths as they come to the strike. And Jack Sprague is going to win his second truck race of 1998. They all kind of single file it into position. Decided on the racetrack at the end of the most exciting 200 miles in the four-year history of the NASCAR Craftsman Trail. Greg leaves his way down the backstretch trying to break up the airflow. Biffle, you can see him back in the distance there. Biffle's got to make a kamikaze move on the inside into turn three. Biffle can't get around his X-Side 4 teammate. Coming out of turn four, last year, Jack Sprague lost the championship while winning the race. This year, Jack Sprague looks like he is going to win the race and the championship. Wow. Jack Sprague, the GMAC, Financial Services Chevrolet, holds off the hard-charging Greg Biffle. Biffle ends up in seventh position and the swing will be a total of eight points. And here comes Biffle up alongside to congratulate Jack Sprague. And now Houston and these guys, it's almost like a shark. They can smell problems. Was it just getting loose or did he have a flat tire? Does he have a tire going down? Through turn three and four, Kurt Busch coming out of the turn four. There's Andy Houston. The time is run out, and we've got a crash on the backstretch as Houston tries to close the gap. Kurt Busch is going to win for the fourth time, setting a record for a rookie in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. He says farewell and heads to the Winston Cup campaign in 2001 by closing out with another win. Four truck links back is Crawford, then Wood. Crawford peddling for all he is worth in this final lap. He would love to get his first win here, but it looks like Musgrave may hold on. Musgrave's advantage grows to 10 truck links in turns three and four. Out of turn four. Here comes Ted Musgrave down for the checkered flag to bring down the curtain on the 2001 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series season. Musgrave wins the Auto Club 200 at California Speedway. Just about one mile of racing to go, and he's going to defend, successfully defend, his victory here. If he makes it back, Bob. Yeah, let's let's not count it out and or count it finished until the checkered flag has waved. But he's looking good. Has that Mopar truck right down on the bottom of the racetrack. Now swings high off of corner number four. And Ted Musgrave from Franklin, Wisconsin, is going to run it. I want my good trucks to do a great left high backside. Run for Ted Musgrave, Jason Leffert, teammate, finished second. You heard Jimmy Smith said he wants both his trucks to do a side-by-side -side, uh, parade lap. He was supposed to start 10th. That's where he qualified yesterday. They changed him over. He went to the back of the field, and he's gone all the way from the back of the field to the front. And as he comes out of turn number four, the checkered flag will be displayed for Ted Musgrave, who wins the American Racing Wheels 200. With less than a mile to go in this race, Todd Bodine, four truck links in front of Ted Musgrave. Fourth start for the Jermaine Arnold Toyota, and it looks like maybe victory number one.
Coming through three and four. Smoke problems in front of him. And Todd Bodine and Ted Musgrave both miss Kelly Sutton. And it will be Todd Bodine claiming his first ever victory in the truck series. Forty-nine one thousandth of a second is the margin between first and second with the first big win for Todd Bodine. Steve Park is going to hang on and win this race. Coming into three and four, Steve Park in the Jasper Engines and Transmissions, number 62. That puts him in some elite company field, winning on all three of NASCAR's big stages. Steve Park is the latest winner of a truck race. Comes to the checkered flag, and Steve Park will win the American Racing Wheels 200. All right, that's fun stuff right there. Great side-by-side -side battle right here. Todd Cleaver and Ted Musgrave oh, side by side for the fourth position. Johnny Benson looked as though he went across the start finish line, may have blown a tire, able to keep it straight, and they slow it down. But the celebration starts for the 62. Steve Park winning <laughs> in the Craftsman Truck Series. That spotter Bobby Hudson giving Mark all the information he needs. Mark Martin with a truck and a half link between himself and Todd Bodine. Makes his way through three and four. The Got left tire on the inside of the white line. As he comes out of four, he will see the checkered flag and win. The Racetickets.com 200 presented on speed by KFC. What a terrific. Oh, we got trouble. Stacy Compton into the outside wall, coming down for the checker. Wow. It's a hard crash there, Phil. It sure was. What happened? Mike Swain was saying, don't try to get too much for me. Don't, don't get too much down. He says, don't overdrive the corner. Just make a nice, smooth corner for me. And we've got this race won. Mike Skinner making his way through three and four. The last time he was in victory lane was Las Vegas a year ago. Across the start finish line, Skinner wins in California. What a great job by Jeff Hensley and all his thank guys. You guys. Man, thank you. That's just good. Got, job, you, you don't know how these darn truck races are going to turn out. Yeehaw. He got spun out. The leader got spun out on the restart. Kyle Busch, so strong in whatever vehicle he gets into. He, you know, he stays busy running all three of these series. In his spare time, he runs a late model car. He needs to practice. A lot of right, seat time and another checkered flag is going to fly for the 51 with Kyle Busch behind the wheel winning the San Bernardino County 200. That gun, good job right there, boys. Guys, great truck. Great truck. Started back in the 20th spot. Was running six at the end of what, eight or ten laps yeah. here? He told us he didn't think starting back in the 20th spot was going to hamper his efforts much. <laughs> he did. <laughs> it didn't. Right here at Auto Club Speedway. Driving for Billy Ballou. And that's a real special awesome relationship, job, too. Guys. Yep. Good job, Doug. Doug George, the crew chief, Billy Ballou, the owner, and Rowdy. Kyle Busch wins the San Bernardino County 200. His 10th career victory in the Camping World Truck Series. There is second. And Todd Bodine, Chad McCombie for third. T.J. Bell. Actually, David Starr. David Starr yeah. the line. David Starr got by him on the last lap. Pretty much home free at the wild time. He's got a 17 or 18 second lead over Steve Park. If he shuts her off right there, he can post back. Todd Bodine.
Yes, I mean, and I just said today, what a great job he's done this year. Today is just the, the continuation of the 1998 season for Dale Earnhardt Jr. What an impressive talent. What an extremely nice young man. A chip off the block. He takes the checkered flag at California Speedway. And Tony Curry and the crew were diving off the wall celebrating win number four in 1998 in the battle for third. Well, you can actually visibly see the interval beginning to shrink now from high above California Speedway. Is there enough time? Three laps and three laps only. It was 15 car length. Now it's 10. Whoa, contact. Todd Marine's car goes around. Hard, hard contact on the left side. And the race is going to be over when he get back to the line. The car back to the line is going to win. And there they are, racing in a turn three for the final time. Back to the caution flag. It is Kenseth, Burton, and Earnhardt Jr. Here comes Burton, three car lengths, two car lengths. The caution flag is waving for the eighth time. Who will win at California? Matt Kenseth will take the checkered flag. Burton in second, Earnhardt Jr. in third. I think the caution flag checker hasn't waved yet, but I doubt very seriously that we will, in fact, see because that was hard contact up in the turns one and two. They need to jump off and throw their fist up in the air because the checkered flag is in the air. Matt Kenseth has done it. He is the winner. Matt Kenseth picks up his second victory in 1999. His fifth career win. Bobby Reiser and the DeWalt crew will squirt our cameraman and Earnhardt Jr. coming up behind to give Matt a nice little bump there. The closest of friends, they raced door to door all year long last year and finished first and second in the points with Earnhardt winning a championship. And today, it is Matt Kenseth, a young man from Wisconsin, who will head to victory lane. Kenseth, the leader, the Visine Chevrolet, Riser Enterprises. John and Robbie Riser own that car. Father and son have got to be cheering right now, knowing their driver is about four seconds away from victory. Here comes Jeff Burton, but it'll be too little, too late. And Matt Kenseth gets his second win of the 2000 season. Burton finishes second. Jeff Green is third. Michael Walker fourth. Todd Bodine fifth. Mike Skinner is sixth. Jason Keller seventh. Hank Parker Jr. is eighth. And the 98 car of Elton Sawyer finishes ninth with Jay Sauter in 10th position. But there's the winner of the 4th Annual Auto Club 300, Matt Kenseth. Nobody would have bet this is possible. There's the 18 right there, the NBNA car coming off turn two. A lot of distance. I wouldn't have bet it, but I was worried. in this race, guys. We're going to win it. Race. You sure Thank are, you young man. Thank you the fans. Doing great call. Now he can coast home and win it. What a call. A hundred and two. Okay, buddy, you did it. In the meantime, back to the ranch. Scott Briggs is laying it out. Bring it on. Bring it on home, son. You're holding a pretty wheel. Scott Riggs off turn four to become the first four to win a bush race go. in California. Boy, Mill got back in the gas hard that time. I think he's going to... No, he didn't quite clear McMurray. And here comes help from behind. Jason Keller in the 57. They're both going to clear Shane Mill. So Shane Mill will go to the bottom of the racetrack. Remember, this is all a battle for sixth position. Matt Kenseth is going to be the seventh driver to win a Bush oh, race in 2003. Boy. Then it's Waltrip. Then it's Harvick. And here they come. Kane, Bodine, McMurray, Keller, and Meal, and David Green. And Ron Hornaday wraps up the top 10, finishing in 10th position. David Rudeman in the uh, 87 car finishes 11th.
stop left to go. He's a car that has not made a pit stop. He's listening to Greg Biffle. Stacy Compton in that 59 car. Remember, he popped off back on lap 91, sitting there in third. They said they would stretch it, and they have. A lot of emotion in Greg Biffle's pit. Checkered flag in the air. Greg Biffle wins the Stater Brothers 300. And I wasn't California dreaming, and this ain't no winter day. <laughs> Stacy Compton, he makes it in that 59 car, finishes third. Tony Stewart finishes second. Behind them, Bobby Labonte's been shuffled back from third. I'm just shocked how well this 21 car is running here at the end of the race. As you're coming off turn four for the checkered flag. Going to be a little late for Harvick. It's going to be a sweep in 2004 for the NASCAR Boy, Series in California for Greg Biffle. Biffle wins the Target House 300 after a terrific late race duel with Casey Mears. That was a nail biter, guys. That was an exciting one. I'll tell you what. It was amazing. Stewart has crashed. Still under green, checkered flag in his first California Bush Series start. Mark Martin gets his 46th NASCAR Bush Series win. This battle right here, this is a battle for seventh between Jamie McMurray and his 64, David Streaming the 14. Leave McMurray beat him just by a little bit. Still, that's a great draw by Streaming to come home uh, in eighth place. And Tony Stewart is going to come home 29th, the last car on the lead lap. Yeah, two guys that thought they had tires down, true X, and he did, and I think Tony did too, and it bit them both. Therefore, <laughs> <laughs> we're coming to the checkered. You saw, you saw those fireworks going down the back stretch. The lead already won the race. Now Carl Edwards out of turn four. Checkered flag. Carl Edwards wins in California, and the fireworks are official. That is what you call a team effort, and we as a team will show this racing organization, NASCAR, that we're behind their efforts 110% for the really fun. Thank y'all, guys. I guarantee you, Carl Edwards, he'll drive it down into turn three. He got a good run off turn two that last time at the end of the backstretch. He's going to go to the high side, see if he can get the run off turn four, Newman to the low side. Good job today, guys. Struggled in the pits a little bit, but we made up for it. Here comes Carl to the bottom. Biffy real close. Not quite. Newman. Hello, Newman. Newman hangs on for second. Great, great effort by Carl, though. Running yep. out of fuel. Paul Menard, apparently out of fuel. And goes to the checker. He's out. So Casey Kane using pit strategy and topping off with 98 to go. Now Casey Kane's out of fuel, maybe. Dives down low. He's going to hold him off. Casey Kane wins at California. that out of that 17 car all day he's got a little bit of a tire rub he's got a half a lap to go to get it done Casey Mears has finished second here in 2004 Matt Kenseth was tied with a 16 car of Greg Biffle for three wins at California Speedway he comes out of turn four and Matt Kenseth picks up his fourth career win at California Speedway. What a great effort by Kenseth. And here's a battle to the stripe, and boy, that was close. The 20 and the four car, Hamlin and Smith. Looks like Hamlin will get the spot, will finish in eighth position. He pulls away now by some four seconds over this battle for second, third, and fourth. Here comes Jeff Burden out of turn four. And he will pick up his third win of 2007, his 25th career NASCAR Bush Series victory for Jeff Burton. It's Bush, Hamlin, and Johnson finishing second, third, and fourth. Yeah, 
began the day with a seventh place finish in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. There is Kyle Busch. Does he have enough fuel to finish in the second position? Looks like he's going to. Out of turn four, Tony Stewart will win back to back in NASCAR nationwide competition to kick off the 2008 season. Hey, buddy, you just led 136 out of 150 <laughs> laps. Man, I love having you in my race car. Great job, guys. I'm real proud of every one of you. How about that finish right there with Burton and Junior? They're still racing hard. Yeah, he's and got, Harvick got third spot. Day. Harvick got third over Rudiman. Two car has in the wall and the white flag has waved. So that means the race will be over. Once the white flag is displayed, the next flag is the checkered flag. Now, so this one is history. Josh Wise in the 22 car gets up and tags the concrete. Final lap. Amazing tonight. Thank you so much. Unbelievable. It really was amazing performance for this 18 team. Just dominant all night long. Unbelievable. I mean, it, they weren't even challenged at all, really. We said a couple of times some other cars were running faster lap times, but that was literally after 25, 30, 35 laps uh, on these tires. A record-setting night for Kyle Busch. There is the, the 60 car. Carl Edwards right behind him. Sure these guys will come by and give a friendly wave. <laughs> <laughs> But no one in NASCAR history has ever done what this young man is about to do here tonight. Win twice in a single day. Coming out of the turn, Kyle Busch will do it. Winning twice in one day, Kyle Busch makes NASCAR history. Yeah, boys. Like Harvey Thank you. you guys are off. Awesome. Falling all the way back to 25th. He's, oh, and it's 66. They get together. That is for position and points. And there goes Jeremy Clem Clements. Yeah, Allgaier went all the way to the apron down the front straightaway. Check this out. They're still racing. Hang on. We got two things to keep an eye on. Here comes the race win, then the battle for fifth in the points. Coming to the stripe, Joey Logano. It's going to be his sixth win in his 38th start, and oh, what a way to do it. Second place will be Brian Vickers. Edwards Brad third, Keselowski. and look out coming across. That's what Howard gets, baby. Keselowski That's what Howard gets. comes back That's what for the fifth. He's got to be proud of yourself. Good job. Hey, Joey. Stephen Wallace had a left front tire that was flat. That's going to cost him a lot. It certainly will. One lap remaining. Two miles oh, here. Man, I'm telling you, that 18 is up underneath uh, Greg Biffle at start finish line. It looks like it's going to be a shootout between these two. Down into turn two. Kyle on the low side. Biffle drifts up high. Here comes Blush. Right behind him, the 22 of Keselowski. They're He's side trying by to get side, the mix. Though. The 22 can have a shot here also. These guys side by side. Joey Logano trying he to goes, get back. He goes. Here he goes, down low. Can he hold it? Through the turn three area, through four. Look out, four cars going to be dicing for it, heading for the stripe. What a finish. Will it be Biffle? Will it be Bush? Going for the wire. It is going to be a spinning Logano. My goodness, you have got to feel bad for that man right there. Well, he hasn't had the dominant car we've seen here a lot. He's had a very, very fast race car, but everything's worked out in his favor. He came back from a pit road speeding penalty. It's going to be his ninth nationwide series win from the pole as he brings it out at turn number four, chalk up, win number 12 for 2010, as here comes Kyle it? Busch. <laughs> Yeah, man. That's why you're the champ, man. Thank you so much. Good job, guys. Harvick did battle back to get around Edwards for third. Then it was Logano, Almirola, Newman, Allgaier, Bliss up to ninth, and Reed Sorensen rounding out the top ten.
And that could be the race losing move right there. He's got to keep that momentum going into turn three. As long as those tires are up still. Uh-oh. Here they come. Edwards got trying it. to make a run. Not going to be enough. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Good job, boys. I can't believe it. We stay on. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Kyle Busch wins again. Boy, did they have to work hard for that one. Now, those are fun wins when you do it that way. He's That's too much fun, buddy. <laughs> is a little bit different style of racing than most. But boy, he has been up on the wheel here today. He had to fight hard for the lead in this one. The all-time series record for consecutive wins by a team no at a track no extended by one. The eighth time in a row, Joe Gibbs Racing wins in Southern California. Joey Logano to the checkered flag first. You're the man, Joe. I'm proud of you, buddy. miles from Toyota Racing Development's headquarters in Costa Mesa. Since Toyota teamed up with Joe Gibbs at this track, they will remain undefeated in the Nationwide Series on their home speedway. Another win for Joe Gibbs Racing, Toyota, and Kyle Busch at California. Yeah, good job, guys. All the fans here in California on their feet. Who's going to win it? Larson, Harvick, or Bush? So Harvick just needs to be right there on the bumper when they get to turn three. He's losing a little bit of ground now, though. Here comes Kyle Bush. All right, there you go. Break him off. Back up to the wall. Back up to the wall. Nice and smooth. Good by three. I don't think Kevin can do it, guys. Larson's looking good. Here it comes! Larson's gonna clear him! He's gonna do it! The first NASCAR Nationwide Series win for Kyle yeah. Larson at California! Unbelievable! Win a championship, and Brian Scott has not given up in that category. That pass of Brad Keselowski gets him up to sixth. You know, guys, you can't take anything away from Kevin Harvick. Of course, he's in great equipment in Junior Motorsports and, and with Stuart Haas Racing. But this man is, is focused and is driven more than I've ever seen him in my life. Um, there's no more aggravation. There's no more anger with Kevin Harvick. He doesn't do, uh, you know, he shakes all that off, and there's another victory. Thank you. Great job. Second win of the year. Good work, guys. Good job on pit road. Good work all weekend. Kevin Harvick gets it done at Auto Club Speedway. Here comes Suarez, guys. White flag is out. One to go. Brought to you by Credit One Bank. And that's oh. a big one for Kyle Busch because he knows we're not going to oh, get the blows a tire. He blows a tire. Coming back to the checkers. Here he comes Daniel tire. Suarez down on the inside. Drama Does on Daniel the final have enough gas? California. Suarez. Suarez now in position for his first career victory. If he's not out of gas, Austin Dillon's running third, five seconds back. Does he have enough gas? Suarez on the apron. Oh. Here comes Dillon off of turn two. Look at Suarez Kyle's working the wheel. Kyle's going to try to make it with a flat tire. Can he do it? Bush back in front of him. This is outstanding on the final lap. And Austin Dillon is into three. Austin he's gonna take coming the, fast. Dillon's he's going to get the lead. Here comes Austin Dillon. Where does he stand on he fuel? He goes to the outside. Dillon outside of Kyle Bush into the wall there's contact back to the checkered flag unbelievable austin dillon wins it wow what a race who needs march madness this is california auto club speedway madness and it doesn't get any better than this larson lost some ground the last time through where does he go He's going to drive it in really hard in a lane up. He's going to try and get a big run here off the corner and maybe a draft down the front stretch. Larson went low. Back to the line. Logano's got a run. Going to be a good finish here. Give it to Kyle Larson. He wins in California. He's, he's put it on him, Adam. No doubt about it. 
can you say California dreaming? What a dominating performance. Joey Logano brings it back to the start finish line. He wins at Auto Club Speedway. That's what I'm talking about. Feels good to finally win again. Thank oh, you. rack down the front stretch. That's Grala. What a hit. Battling for 14th. About to get his first win here in California. Into turn three. One last corner. 200 going to have to wait. Today belongs to the California kid. Career win number three for Cole Custer comes at Auto Club Speedway. Talked about that crowd, Brad. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job right Including here in 2007. 21 right, cup wins over 21 years. Harrison trying to close the deal today. Herbs down to the inside, making it interesting. Here they are off the of turn four. A Burton's going back to victory lane in NASCAR. Harrison wins for the first time in his career at Auto Club Speedway. What a great, great race. Let's go, boys. That's what I'm talking about, man. We see a smoky burn out here on the front stretch. <laughs> great job today, guys. Great pit stop all day. Good car. A.J. Allmendinger trying to get back to the top five. Dominating performance for the 07 today. Yeah, great job by Cole Custer. Uh, that whole that whole group really gave him a super fast car and was, was able to get that full Mustang in victory lane. So great job by them. California kid, Cole Custer wins in Fontana. He's pushing water. He is. Yeah, he is, and not much of it. When Over he left. Can he hang on? Good thing there's only... Lost it by inches last week at Daytona. John Hunter Nemechek gonna finish the deal and win it in Fontana, Checker California. Here. Take care of it. No burnout, nothing. Take care of your temp. Check a flag. Never. Good guys. thing it wasn't the... Uh, Thank you, guys. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coy. Thank you, everyone. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Mark Martin apparently is out of gas as Jeff Gordon sets the car into the third corner. Mark Martin goes by his front stretch. Coaches, as cars go by, here comes Jeff Gordon off the corner. Bob, I do believe he's going to make it. Let's see if he can do it. He's going to do it. Jeff Gordon wins the California 500, presented by Napa. And the Rainbow Warriors celebrate another victory. Here's Jerry Punch. He's running second right now, and Mark Martin is at the end of the backstretch on the final lap. Mark Martin has the car and turns three and four, looking for his 25th career win. He started in third position this afternoon, comes home first, and wins the second California 500. His third victory of 1998. Let's watch this battle to the line. Benson and Bodine down to the line, and it's going to be Bodine. Oh. It was close, but I believe Bodine got him just by a nose, a short nose. Jeff Gordon from Pittsburgh, Indiana, looking for his 45th career win. The car is in turn number three. Number four, recording his third victory in 1999 and becoming the first repeat winner of California Speedway, Jeff Gordon wins the California 500 presented by Napa.
comes down and looks at the white flag. One lap to go, and we got a crash in turn four. A spin. That's Robbie Gordon. I don't think he's hit anything yet. Now he does. Oh, a trouble in four. On the very Wait. final lap of the race, a spin with Robbie Gordon, but he's able to bring it down off the racetrack and continue. There is a caution, however, and Jeremy Mayfield is going to race back to the flag. It's still not over yet because the leader did not take the caution flag. It happened behind him. The battle appears to be for second spot as Kenseth once again closes in on and heads to the high side of Bobby Labonte. But Labonte down low is able to stave off that challenge. They come off of corner number four. And Jeremy Mayfield wins his second NASCAR Winston Cup race and it comes at the California Speedway in the Napa 500. That's it. Darrell, all I think Rusty needs to do is run that same line through three and four right around the bottom. I don't think Gordon can get him. Only way he can get him is if Rusty slips, and he's not going to slip. Looking for his first win in 2001. Rusty Wallace, the by three. Picks up about three car lengths. Jimmy Johnson eases back to that throttle. Jimmy Johnson off turn four, sixth in points, leading rookie on the tour, and he's going to win his 13th start. Here before a hometown crowd of his. What a race. What a strategy. I mean, you gotta give Chad, you gotta give Chad a pat on the back, guys, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Two good battles as we close in. White flag trouble. It is Martin sliding across the grass. And it's Johnson in the wall. Jimmy. Caution is out. No, the white flag's out. You've got to race back. You cannot slow down. Now, Jimmy Johnson's car wadded up in the wall. They've got to race to the line. You've the leaders did not get the yellow, did they? No, on the last lap, you race back. In Rusty Wallace and Bobby Lonnie, they're side by side down the back stretch. This is a battle for second. Kurt Busch entering turn three right now. Jimmy Johnson gets his car off the wall and out of harm's way. Mark Martin's in the middle of the grass here right at the start-finish line, but this will be the race right here. Kurt Busch coming off turn four, Mike. Yeah, but here comes Bobby Labonte under Rusty. Rusty World drove it in there hard, shoved up. Labonte's going to beat him to the line. Sixth career win for Kurt Busch. And a near photo finish at the line. Labonte for second. And how about Bill Elliott finishes fourth, Jamie McMurray fifth, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. finishes sixth, and Michael Waltrip seventh. He's out of gas. It's just that he had a little shot, but Matt. Jeremy Mayfield came out so that I feel like I'm out of gas as well. Tank Probus is on the wall for the past two laps. Mike Kane also on pit road. Both the Abraham cars on pit road. Jeremy Mayfield and Casey Kane. I was going to say they're not notorious for getting great gas mileage. Checkered flag. Jeff Gordon wins it. Bobby Labonte's on the apron in turn four, but I think Jimmy Johnson's probably going to go by him in the 48 car for second place. Jimmy Johnson, he gets by him. Bobby Labonte trying to coast to the line. Rod Newman goes by him. Johnson second. Sadler's car's too strong. Elliott Sadler came into the weekend, seventh in the championship standings. Not comfortable in his margin over 11th place told me they wanted to get a good finish here to lock their place in in the race to the chase so they weren't depending on a final Saturday night in Richmond they've gained maximum points tonight Elliot Sadler wins at California There. Basically, he's holding him up just enough that uh, Greg's going to be able to get to the finish line here first. Kurt Busch holds Jimmy Johnson at bay, and Greg Biffle is coming going. around here to win here in Montana, California. Good job. Good job, boys. And he is glad to see 250 laps on that board. Those <laughs> tires had no more laps left in them. That's zero laps left in my tires. 
personnel spot, Tony Stewart. Through turns three and four. Tomorrow, the headlines will say Bush won a California. Here it is. But it'll be Kyle Bush. Kyle oh, Bush wins in California. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Yes, six top winner by four days. Kyle Bush, baby. Yeah. Down here in turn three, though. He's going to take it hard to the outside. Tire cars racing up three wide in the middle of the pack as Matt Kenseth comes off turn number four. Oh, job Ahead of Jimmy Johnson and Kenseth wins the Auto Club 500. And they're coming across oh, five, 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 five on the apron. <laughs> and the most amazing thing about it is they all made it. They did. You see Kyle Bush finished his 10th in the five car for the first time. Wally said he's going to beat everybody and put himself in position to make the chase next week at Richmond. Earnhardt goes to second. Casey Kane comes off of turn four. He won last night in the Bush race. Casey Kane sweeps at California. Jack Roush has 12 victories at this racetrack, six in the Bush series. Four in Nextel Cup and two in the trucks. Well, and just a few feet here, a few It'll yards be, yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Matt Kenseth, second time in his career, he sweeps the weekend. Kenseth wins the Auto Club 500. Jeff Gordon second, Jimmy Johnson Ooh, third, Jeff God, Burton dude. fourth, Mark <laughs> Martin fifth. <laughs> what a re I know Jeff, I know Matt Kenseth. I say, oh, what a relief. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson, the California kid, is going to do something he wanted to do here for a long time, coming home. Not only to visit the family and friends, but to go to Victory Lane at California Speedway. He has not won since May 6th, race number 10 at Richmond. But guess what? Tonight at California Speedway, race number 25, Jimmy Johnson takes the victory. Here in Southern California, Kyle got a spin on the wall. Jared, the, the caution is out, so the field is frozen. The race is over right there because we're on the white flag lap. Dale, you know, Jared's car yeah, rolls down out. from yellow the banking. Once you enter the once you enter into the white flag lap and there and uh, there's a caution, Should the race is over. Won. Yellow came out uh, yeah. after the white flag. No Checkered right flag. Here. Carl Edwards wins the Auto Club 500, his first victory at California Speedway, and the 11th victory here for Roush Racing. Six in Sprint Cup, six in the Nationwide Series, car, guys. <laughs> and two in the Craftsman Truck Series. Good job, Carl. For the Habitat for Humanity to build homes for people who didn't have them. They handed the keys, he and wife Shandy, to a, a young single mom who had three children who didn't have a place to live. But tonight, at this racetrack, it was time for Jimmy Johnson to take back. Take back the lead point as the top contender for the 2008 Chase Championship. Jimmy Johnson takes the win. Roush Racing. I'm real impressed with the way these guys have gotten out of Matt's way. A couple of cars have just kind of stayed in the groove, but doesn't matter. He's going to get by. And here he comes. Matt Kenseth. Only the fourth driver in NASCAR history to win the Daytona 500 and the next race. Checkered flag. Third California win for Kenseth and Roush Fenway Racing and Ford. How about that 17 car? How about those boys? Celebrate the good times. Yeah, yeah baby. I'd have to say he'll go to the high side here and see if he can get by Montoya. Montoya's going to try to block, but he... 
See Gordon all the way on the apron. Jimmy Johnson coming down on a turn four. What a job they have done again, and for the second year, make it third year in a row in the fall. Jimmy Johnson wins at California, and Gordon finishes second. Oh, nice job, guys. Hell yeah. How about that job? Yeah, the job, man. Uh, Gordon, Montoya, Martin, and Stewart, second, third, fourth, and fifth. What a job. There's Rick Hendrick congratulating Chad Knauss. What an effort there for Jimmy Johnson. What did everybody say he just wins here in the fall? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> He's won the last three fall races. The Roush cars have dominated the spring here, but defending here champ Matt Kenseth is only seven. We're going to have a heck of a finish here for second. Boy, it's going to be a drag race between those two guys. I believe Burt might get him down on that bottom. No, Harvick got it. Jimmy Johnson wins the Auto Club 500. There is Joey Logano holding off Kurt Busch. Very nice pit. run. Gentlemen, you did a great job. In Look Great at job, everybody. Great job, Jimmy. I'm very proud of you, buddy. You had to work. Scott Speed and Brian Vickers, teammates, crossed the line side by side. Speed got 11th, Vickers 12th. Now Jimmy goes to the high side. Boyer comes down, opens the door. Johnson's got to run. Jimmy's going to have the momentum right here. Coming out of turn number four. For the first time in his career, Tony Stewart is going to win here at Auto Club Speedway. The battle is going to be for second. Stewart takes and the two. Boyer, Johnson, Kane, Newman. Mark Martin comes home in sixth. Also team effort. Denny Hamlin's eight. Jeff Gordon all the way to ninth with that two-tire change. That God, keeps him in the hunt. It certainly does. Behind Kane and Newman, it's Mark Martin, Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin, eighth, Jeff Gordon, ninth, David Ruderman, rounding out your top ten. And drops back in line. White flag for Jimmy Johnson. One lap to go. Harvick's going to have to make a big move right down here. Harvick trying the outside as Johnson. He's runs got the, the middle momentum. Of the track. He's got the momentum right there. That's been his strong point. That speed of carry all the way down the back straightaway. A bump. He's gonna, he's gonna push him up into the corner faster than he wants to go, I think. Kyle Bush is five car lengths back. It's here a two he comes. Race, and here he's comes got Harvick. Him. He's got Johnson him. got loose. He's got him. That little push getting into three. That little bump. Harvick Johnson switches lanes. Johnson can't get there. Harvick wins it. 29. The best closer in the business. Hell of a job. Neil, Kevin, good job, guys. Hell of a job. I not heard that voice all day, Larry. That's <laughs> Childress. Richard Childress, Childress, the owner. Childress chiming in. Harvick proves it again today. Awesome job, guys. Awesome job. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Another great finish for Dale Earnhardt Jr., Chris. All right, thanks, Chris. 129 laps, and Tony Stewart is your winner. His second victory this year. Dick Berggren is standing by. It's damp, but it's a legitimate victorious celebration, Dick. Hamlin gave him a shot. One to go. Outside, Bailey. Outside. Hamlin there. Logano to the bottom, trying to hold his ground. That's going to be tough, though, but, but he, he's been running good on the bottom. If he can just clear Hamlin right there. No way. He's going to lose his momentum. They're going to touch hard. Are they going to make it? Make it back. Go down the back. Side by side. Kyle Busch wins again. Seven. Watch out for the third there. place car, Kyle Busch. He's looking. Six. Hamlin edges ahead. They get it. They touch. They, they go touch down. Go on, Kyle. Hamlin got on the ball. Hamlin spins down the racetrack, and Kyle Busch wins in California. I thought they'd be nice to each other. They weren't. Hard impact on the 11 car, head on. I don't like the looks of that. Hard hit to the inside wall for Hamlin, a bounce off the outside wall for Logano, and it ends in a shower of sparks. I am not surprised. I, I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but I'm not surprised. 
This is the same position Kyle Busch was in a year ago with Denny Hamlin and Joy Logano battling for the lead. White flag, Landon Castle bounced off the wall, goes to pit road. Here we go, for through the middle. Kyle Busch looked at the middle, now looks to the Here bottom. Here comes Larson off turn two. Larson's got to run down the back. Can he win two days in a row? The rookie, the Can rookie. he battle Kyle Busch two days in a row? He battled him yesterday and beat him. Here he comes. Dive it to the inside. Kyle took the block. He blocked him. It's the Kyle and Kyle show off. Turn four. How many times have we seen this? This is like four or five times these two guys have battled each other for the victory. Bush the veteran, Larson the rookie, Kyle Bush wins California. Woo! Two years in a row for Kyle. Wow, it's over. that little rookie guy, he is impressive. Kevin Harvick and, and four. Biffle is driving away. Let We're him gonna race. Finish this under green. Let him race. Here they come. Boy, Kurt Busch made a run. It's not going to work there. He got right to the back bumper Correct. of Keselowski. No. Correct. Easy. Bad one. Brad wins in California. And guess who finished second? Four got second. Keselowski, Harvick, Busch, Menard, Newman, the top five. Newman? That was a big <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Keselowski had to lift and lost three, four spots coming off turn two. So we're past the line. We're good. Here they come. They are three wide in turn three, but up front. Superman pulls away the man of steel. Will score his 77th win, Jimmy Johnson to the flag. Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin, Joey Logano. And side by side for fifth, a photo finish between Ricky Stenhouse and Chase Elliott. That pit stop, boys, that pit stop. We need stops like that all the time. I think we're past the low overtime line. I think we're good to go here. And it looks like uh, Mr. Larson is coming home. Kozlowski dives to the bottom. Not close enough. The California kid, Kyle Larson, brings it off. Turn number four. He, Chip Ganassi, and Chevrolet are going to victory lane in Fontana. Good job, buddy. You better melt that thing down. Brad Kozlowski second. Clint Boyer third. Truex fourth. Logano fifth. Martin Truex has lapped all but the next nine cars. Going to be a great battle for fourth at the finish. Denny Hamlin Whoa, comes, comes in Hamlin. to spoil the Penske party. And off turn four, the headlines will read, Jersey boy goes California dreaming. Martin Truex Jr. wins the Auto Club 400. Between three and four, and headed for home. Kyle Busch in his Joe Gibbs Toyota is going to win his 53rd race in the Cup Series and hit his magic number 200 in Southern California. Awesome race car. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Can you imagine if I could have gotten Vegas and yesterday? How many in a row? How many? He's <laughs> feeling confident. Joey Logano finishes second, 2.3 back. His future's a little bit unknown. This moment right here, if he can complete this, which it looks like he will, a huge moment for Alex Bowman's career and future. And this season that he and Greg Ives and Hendrick Motorsports are starting to put together. Alex Bowman comes to the stripe to win the Auto Club 400. Career win number two. Awesome, Greg. Thank Some you. Some emotion. So you hear emotion out of the driver, Alex Bowman, and you saw the emotion right there, Greg Ives. Nice work, guys. Eric Jones closing up for second. Can anybody catch Kyle Larson? That's it. He's going to the bottom here. 
Watch Jones. A big run on the outside. Dylan on the bottom slides up right to the tail of the five. Here they come for the checkered flag. Kyle Larson keeps that surfboard trophy in California. Man, what a race, and you can't really say enough about Austin Dillon, uh, Jones, and Suarez. I mean, I don't think anybody would have picked those guys to be second, third, and fourth today necessarily, all of them. So, uh, man, heck of a race. You don't count them chickens till they hatch. Chase Briscoe just ahead, 20 cars on the lead lap. And Kyle Busch could pretty much coast at home from here. What may be the final super speedway NASCAR race ever in Southern California. RCR, baby. Goes to Kyle Busch. That's right. How about you, RCR and everybody? Kyle Busch, unbelievable. Randall Burnett, them girls right there, everybody's on in. It's a big win, huge win. Richard Childress Racing and Chevrolet. 61st career win for Kyle Busch, ninth on the all time win list. And he now, by himself, holds the record for consecutive cup seasons with a victory, 19.